don't have as much instability in the atmosphere for areas east of 65 and that's another reason why we're kind of expecting those storms to generally start fading out as we get into the evening hours as they try to nudge a little bit to the east tomorrow morning though we've got some scattered showers and storms these are early storms so as you're making your way out the door as the kids are into the bus stop, could be dealing with some rain. We've got some showers around 8, 9 o'clock, and then a few storms as we continue into the afternoon with some daytime heating here. May not get a whole lot of heating, but still have enough moisture and still have enough heat in the atmosphere. And there goes the cold front. Here it comes, and there it goes. We're not expecting any severe weather with this because it's happening at night. We don't have any daytime instability since the sun is down. We will definitely get some very refreshing weather for your Thursday in terms of severe weather could have some heavy rain, maybe even a stronger wind gust, but that's really it. Small hail can't be totally ruled out either, but there is no tornado threat temperatures right now. We are in the upper 70s and lower 80s, of course, a little bit cooler towards the west where they are getting some of that heavy rain out there into Madisonville as well as Hopkinsville for tonight. Maybe just an evening storm, mainly west of 65, 72 degrees for tonight. And we look at your Wednesday. We've got some storms to start the day off. Still some rain showers lingering through part of the morning during the afternoon. A couple more isolated storms, temperatures into the middle 80s. And then that cold front comes, brings those temperatures down, looking very comfortable Friday right onto the weekend. Great tailgating weather on Saturday, and we'll keep that sunshine going into early next week, although we could find a few storms on Tuesday.